this podcast absolutely, unequivocally, positively, 100% contains adult material. Mature audiences only, please. Hey, welcome back to me and Mrs. Always Right. We are the ADHD of podcasting, and today we are coming from that little trailer park in Center, Texas. I'm your host, me. And I'm Mrs. Always Right. And we are the number one podcast by people who can't tell which is sweaty or their ass crack or outside. <laughs> well, you got to go outside to get your ass crack sweaty, it is I fucking think. fucking hot outside. It is. And I want to give a little bit of a geography. From, oh, no. From, really? From where we're at today, Center. Would that be that little trailer park in that Center, Texas? That little trailer park in Center. It's actually in Shelby County. It's called Center because it's basically in the center location of Shelby County. I know. It's kind of weird. I mean, who would have guessed? I know. Who would have guessed? But I did read a couple of things on here that I thought was pretty cool. Shelby County was actually one of the original 13 counties in Texas. Wow. I thought that was pretty awesome. They also have a watermelon festival in July, and it is July now, and I don't know when it is, but we probably did. But man, how fun would that be? And one more thing. Oh, okay. One more thing. Wow, center must be interesting. <laughs> center it wants to be the center very, of attention. Center is very interesting because you will never guess who actually is from center. Brian Hitt, who is the drummer for Ario Speedwagon, was actually born in Center. Oh, uh, we must be talking about bands from your time. Y- yes. You know yes. where Ario Speedwagon comes from? <laughs> the name? Tell me. From Oldsmobile. They made, Oldsmobile made a REO speed wagon. I believe you are correct. Yes. And REO is somebody's name, blah, blah, Oldsmobile. R-E-O. Okay. okay. Ralph Edward Oldsmobile. I don't know. Robert the R-E- Edward yeah, I don't know. Oldsmobile. But they call REO speed wagon. So. Nice. Yeah. Nice. See, you learn every day. Yes. It's are we nice back to, to geography learn. lessons? Well, I don't know if we're back two geography lessons but we were today because i found it very interesting and i just, just wanted saw to that share. the drummer from ario speedwagon was from texas no no i seen the other stuff that i said first i didn't even say how many people were there i think it's a little over five thousand people i don't think anybody so. cares outside of the five thousand people from center texas well you know there you go they're they're happy that we included them i'm just saying <laughs> wow okay yeah. way to drag down the show oh i'm sorry speaking of dragging down <sighs> are you dragging today oh i'm tired because little mister had to get up wake me up when you get up for work you... so i did and what did you tell me i don't know i was still sleeping <laughs> apparently you were still sleeping because you're like uh, call me when the coffee's here, ready. Here, here's and the thing. I'm like, okay, <laughs> your coffee is ready. Okay, well, can you just give me 20 more minutes? Uh-oh. And I'm like, okay, no problem. Hang on. I'm trying to decide if Shart. it's wet or air. Yeah, hang on. Shart? No, that was air. Okay. I, I'm on the verge. I don't know. <laughs> I'm having to guess. Is that what you call it? Shart? Sharding is when you actually Shart? shit oh, okay. yourself when you think you're farting. <laughs> I'm guarding. I'm guessing it's a fart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're hoping, hoping it's a fart. Hoping, right? Yeah, hoping. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Praying. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, if you see me having to get up in the middle of the show. We know Because I had to go wipe my ass. We know that you, why didn't you put a Depends on before you came uh, in here? You know, because A, we don't have any. That's true. I could have put a puppy pad down. Oh, you could have. I mean, if you think have. about it, yes. right? I mean. Yes. Why, why do we have them pad. if we're not going to use them? I do use them. I put one in. The, I try to make sure one is in the living room all the time. So you're, you're telling everybody our dogs piss on the floor? Uh, no, they don't piss on the floor. On occasion, they pee on the puppy pad. Well, good for them. And they don't do it every night. So, you know, one Shh. pad. Trademark. Nice. One pad could last, you know, all week or, yeah. you know, a couple of weeks or whatever. But... The only reason why I do that is because it's even though I leave the door open, the back door open when I go to bed, because I do go to bed earlier than you, so they can go in and out. 
when I go to bed, they don't. They're like, Mom, we're going to bed. Okay, I'm done. And they stay in the bedroom with me. Yeah, because they they're don't go up out. your fucking ass. <laughs> they are, but just in case they decide that they have to go, it's there. So, so yes, you are right. I did not sleep very well. Okay, and here's here's a couple of reasons why. There's probably there's probably about four reasons that pertain to why I didn't sleep well last okay, night. Okay, your wife, Bendy, Josie, and Bob. There's eight <laughs> reasons why I didn't sleep real well. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't okay. the four? No. Oh, it was four no, of them. Four of them. That, that is that four. That I didn't count. I thought those were just everyday <laughs> givens, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Got you. Got you. Number one, you didn't you didn't bother me that much at all, okay? Oh, that's good. Bendy was under the bed, so sh- count her out. Now, Josie, yes, yes, started <laughs> scratching and shit, and she was kind of like all over the place, but then she finally got down, and then, of course, Bob and pet me, pet me every time. Yes. I roll over, and he's like, oh, he's awake. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Still I'm learning. just moving. <laughs> but last night I stayed up. Well, you went to bed early. You went to bed at about three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I went to bed as soon as I got up and had coffee. Uh, yeah, and you're like, morning. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm well, we got, we, we, I mean, not that they need to know, but I mean, again, we went riding Saturday, hung out with some friends, some good friends, had a great day, took the daughter out riding. That's what I was going to say. Well, we actually do you want to talk? One, no, I was just going to. I always want to talk, but we yes, we actually took one of the kids that haven't gone with us. I mean, we oh, have a um, lot of them that haven't gone with us. Squirrel, is that my su- pad sunshine blocker for my truck? Uh, I no. Oh, okay. No, but then, you see, can you didn't have buy that me one. one. All right, well, but you will. can have that one. But yeah, we took we took one of our we took one of our daughters out for her first time out. She seemed to have a good time. I think she had a blast. I I really believe she enjoyed herself. And fortunately for us, it was kind of overcast Saturday. Oh, thank God! So it wasn't like balls hot until but, about the time we got ready to leave. Yeah, then it got balls hot. Yes, had a good rain Saturday or Sunday, so maybe that's why we're tired. I think um, so. You went to bed earlier than me. Yes. I stayed up. I drank my last beer. Well, we had some adult beverages left over that a friend of mine. I was yawning. <laughs> it probably didn't. Did it look really oh, weird? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be the picture, isn't yeah, it? <laughs> I, yeah. <laughs> Okay, sorry. So I had some energy alcoholic beverages left over, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to have one of those before I go to bed. It's a big mistake. So the so energy alcoholic, energy? they are energy drinks. And I was having a hard time going to bed. Then I went to bed late. Mm-hmm. I went to bed at about 10. I was a little you tossing and turning. You normally go to bed around 10. Yeah, but I normally day. don't have to get up at 4. I get up at 6. Oh. Okay. And then, baby, I had a very, very, very bad dream. And this dream Aww. was so fucking weird. Aw. I had a really <sighs> weird dream, too. And Not I as weird as mine. Because when... you divorced me again. Uh, why do you always dream that? I don't know. I had a dream but somebody stole was... my truck. Okay, your truck was in this dream, though. What was it? Yes. Okay. So apparently, and I don't even want to bring this up, but apparently I was seeing this little blonde chubby girl. Okay. Okay. Who okay. was apparently had just turned 18 or some shit. I have no fucking idea. Wow. Yeah, but you, I came home. We lived in some apartment, okay? Okay. And for whatever reason, the forerunner was parked halfway in through the window <laughs> and out. And I'm like, well, that's odd. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Why would she park her and truck it had like these, that? It had these weird cheap wheels on them that had a for sale sign cut out, but it was cut out in the shape of the rim and it said for sale. Okay, that's weird. And then I go in there and you had like everything packed. You're like, I'm leaving. And I'm like, I don't know why, but I knew why, right? <laughs> and of course, I go into man mode. I, I don't know what you're talking about. And right, right. Yeah. I'm stupid. No, you know, I you're think not. you're stupid. That's what no, it is. You're, no. you're thinking, no, I'm dumb. I would never. And you're <laughs> stupid enough to believe me, you know. So I woke up right, right after the apartment scene in this movie. <laughs> I don't know why you would drive the. F- that's what boggles yeah. my mind is. Why you would have driven the forerunner through the front of the apartment. And why we were living in an apartment anyway. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, that's why I well, didn't maybe sleep I drew well. drove it drew through. It? Drew drew it. It? I drove it. I, I drove it through the front of the apartment because I was mad at you and now you gotta fix this big But you love that truck. Well, I do no, love that no, truck. No, because because there was a note it on fit? there. There was a note on the door. That's right when I was walking in saying, We are sublet like you had kicked you out and me at the same fucking time. You're like <laughs> 
Like, if I can't stay here, neither are you. And so the note was like, yeah, we were looking for subletters or sub renters or whatever they call it. Oh, wow. And I'm like, this bitch. <laughs> That's funny. Well, Go we, live with your we all know how vengeful you are. 18 year old. I am a bitch. I, can't I don't know be what you're talking about. A bitch. I still don't know what you're talking about. That wasn't me. Know. No, I know. I know. What is that? What is that song by Shaggy or Scooby what or whatever's yeah. name? Yeah. 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 But well, that's why shaggy. I didn't sleep well. Shaggy. So when, yes, when he tried to wake me up at four o'clock in the after- morning, yes. afternoon, morning, <laughs> morning, I wasn't yes. having it. Oh, well, I don't blame you. I don't like getting up at four. I, like I said, I, I did wake up uh, when I, whatever time I woke up after you come to bed and the TV was still on a, that could have been because I kept kicking the dogs away. Cause they're just, <laughs> you know, they don't lay when I go to bed, they lay with me, but then in the middle of the night, they decide they want to lay against me and I well, have nowhere to you. put my feet and I'm like kicking them out of the way. But I got up and peed and everything was still on. You were snoring. So I'm like, well, I don't, I bet he hadn't been to couldn't bed. have been me. No, yeah, because you don't snore. I don't. That's what you say. I don't. Okay, I can say I don't snore either. I think it's a lie. I play sound lie. effects while I sleep. I mean, I'm dreaming I'm a woodcutter. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is your dream? Like yeah, you're real? I'm just saying. I, I'm a woodcutter. Okay. That's why I snore. I'm just pretending oh. to be a chainsaw. So you said you had an odd dream last night, right? I did. Something about it? somebody was stealing Something my about, truck. Okay. Somebody stole my truck, but they left a beat up trash can in the driveway that came from somewhere else. I don't know if it was their address or what. And then some beat up pick up i mean beat up like an old tiny truck like an old chevy love or something like that you know <laughs> oh, wow. it was the same color but i'm like yeah, oh wait that's... did chevy loves only come in one color no i oh, just... it was the same color as it was your, the same as color as mine and i was like yeah like that's really fooling somebody but it was really weird you know and i understand why they want to steal my truck because it's fucking awesome you do have a nice <laughs> truck that i refuse to fucking drive again <laughs> But you know you're more than welcome to drive. But I won't do it. Time, I get it. Finish your dream, and we'll. No, I don't. I'm trying I mean, not to ADHD this podcast. That's about all I really remember of the dream, and and the police were trying to get the address of where this trash can recycle bin thing. Why are from dreams so fucked up? I don't know, but you know, I did read. Uh, speaking of dreams, I did read somewhere. You know how to read? Well, I look at the pictures. Oh, okay, but. If you, it's very rare. They say it's very rare that you remember a dream. Normally, you forget a dream. And if you remember a dream, I think it's like normally within 10 minutes of waking up, you forget it. And then, you know, as the day progresses, it's less likely that you remember. Unless it's a very traumatic dream about your wife driving her truck through the front windshield and then leaving you Not after she windshield, subbed. window. As, what, you know what? I've been up. I'm tired. <laughs> You've been up as I'm long done. as I have, and you're so tired. Pardon my misspeaks. Oh, misspeaks. I like that word. Uh, anyway, yeah, so it's very rare that that you remember a dream, so they say. But so they say. That's, that's not true. And they also, I do remember reading, they say that if you dream of someone that you've lost and it has to deal with water, they're trying to tell you that they made it where they were going oh, and they're fine. I'm just saying, I read that. Baby. What? Baby, we live. We're born, yes. we live, yes. and we die. Yes. Nothing happens after that. You don't know. No, I I, I extrapolate out science. Science. We come from okay. we come from matter. Yes. We're we're electrical energy. Right. We walk through the earth. I want to know. And we die. I really want to know how we got here. Well, your mom and your dad met. Yeah. No, I get that. But I mean, who were the first ones? You see what I'm saying? Oh, they're from aliens. I mean, it's it's possible because you are a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> Never been anal probed. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> mm, you're so you're going to get into the whole creation thing? No, you I know, know I how we're created? To. I know. I know how we're created. I, I, it's a fucking miracle. 
I'm just saying it is a fucking so, miracle that we continue to bring life into this onto this planet. Oh, I'm fixing to get no, uh, no, 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 no. You no, you started it. I, I, no, I don't you want You started to it, go and there. I can't. I, don't want I can't. To get political. I, I, I don't I'm not want getting to political. Get scientific. I, am not I don't want to get political. You know, everybody's like out this and open. No, that, no. Blah, I mean, blah, 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 blah. I think everybody. I think the path of life is not a political path. No, I I think it is a miracle. That's all I want to say. Oh, it's baby it's an life. Absolute miracle. Life is abundant in the universe. There is yes. no way after you see the after you see the pictures of space. Oh, I've seen some of the shit that you watch it. And night. the galaxies that are out there, there is no fucking way we're the only life for now. But they probably think like we do. No, I didn't we're say the they were ones. intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, they can't, right? The the we just can't get there. But it, even if even if you're a religious person and and you think that there's one creator, there's no way he would be so selfish to only create one little one little speck of life, right? Right. He's just like sitting up there smoking a doobie with his friends, drinking a beer, going poof. There's a planet. Poof. There's a planet. It's like poof, darts, people. It's poof. like heaven darts, right? You just throwing a dart, like yeah, that's where we want life. I firmly believe we we evolved. We're energy. And we we die, we return to the earth, and in 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 it, essence, we are reincarnated if your matters return to the earth, because that matters recycled out all through all time, right? But do you think that you're reincarnated if you didn't learn the lessons? I don't mean spiritually. I mean physically. Okay. Because that the matter that makes up your body and my body has oh, always all been here. From has the always earth. been here, right? Right. So yes. we could have been dinosaurs. I mean, we could have. Adam's I am here. part dinosaur. Uh, you know. Your little arm. That's just what I believe. Born, okay. live, die. The only thing is, is I want to be cremated. Yes. But I want to be cremated in a Viking pyre in the backyard at about three stories tall. Okay. I would love to carry that you, out for you. Could you? But I can't. You're not trying hard enough. It, it, you know, some kind of health code. Blah, cold? Blah, health, health code. Code C O D E health code. You you can't do it. Plus, I don't think I could get the fire hot enough for long enough to cremate you. That's that's the thing that a that's lot. That's why of people it's got to be three understand. stories high. It'll burn longer. Uh, yeah, but I and don't. They put think my coins. Put the coins on my eyes for oh, the yeah, boatman. For yeah. the boatman, boat always. Yeah. Of course, of course. Yes, that's Bra- going to yeah. happen. Anyway. Break my hair. Give me my sword. Uh. Do you have a sword? No, but I will get one if you build a fucking three-story tall funeral uh, pyre. Okay, I, I can't. I'm sorry. First of all, I'm not that creative. Not that See, constructive. I think, I think marrying you, and you've never been openly religious towards me at all, uh-huh. but I think you're way more religious than I am. I think you believe in the heaven and souls and spirits. I, I, don't, I don't really know what I believe in. You know, I leave it open. Just like ghost, you know, some people believe in ghosts and spirits and I I haven't yeah, seen one. I'm not real sure that I follow that. I, I know people personally that say that they've had an experience. Have you or, had an experience? I don't think so. I was told one time that I did, but I don't I don't really know. The only time I ever thought I had an experience. Uh huh. I suffered through sleep paralysis one time. Oh, and that yeah, is the yeah. weirdest fucking feeling in the world. Right. Because you feel like you're being attacked. You can't move. It feels like you're being held down. You're aware to everything around you, you know? And it was, it was terrifying for about the 30 seconds it lasted. And then when I came out of it, I'm like, Okay, yeah. So it's like, you know how people in prison, they all of a sudden find God, they're reading the Bible and everything. Right. So for like 30 seconds, I'm like, oh God, please don't let me die. And then I'm like, like, yeah, I knew it was a test. You're fine. Now, now, were you a child? Were you? I was a full blown adult. Okay. The only, uh, I don't know, I guess as a child, um, we heard Christmas, we heard music around the Christmas holidays or whatever. And my mother had told us that, you know, some kind of spirits, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I mean, she could have been just fucking with me because I fuck with my kids all the time. <laughs> Sound too. like mice in the other room. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. 
But um, I remember um, being sick one time, and it was oh, almost you're like still an still sick now. Uh, I have to be sick to be with you. <laughs> It was like just kind of like an out of body experience type could it, thing. Could it have been a dream? I don't know. I was very sick, and I could see myself from the corner of the room, and everything felt very chalky. I don't know how to describe it. Almost like um, you're trying to crawl or something through mercury. How how you can imagine mercury would feel. You you know what I mean? I mean you can't even buy. at any point in what? time were you on LSD? Oh, was I high? <laughs> yeah. I could have been high, dude. I was like eleven or twelve, so it's I don't. No think excuse so. to not be high. Is all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't think so. Did but you get the magic tea before bed? I, I might have. I literally thought I was gonna die. I was so <laughs> sick, and somebody told me that was my version of almost dying and i'm like eh, the brain i mean i don't I the don't brain really has know. weird ways of coping with shit yes i right? agree i agree you know and, and the the brain's actually wonderful because if you talk about out of body experiences mm -hmm. when i was in icu and i was getting the whatever the fuck that was right. i was okay i was seeing rainbows and unicorns and tree houses and it was the best feeling of my life i just wanted to stay right there but it kept wearing off, and you kept getting yeah. more. Yeah, I should have played sicker than what I was. Oh, you played plenty sick enough. I don't play. Just I'm just sick. <laughs> You're just a sick individual, right? Yes, we all know that, though. Yeah, yeah. I think I do think though you're 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 way more religious than I am. You just I mean it don't is possible. It. it is possible. It is possible. But you know? it, it's weird. But I have feelings, and you have no feelings. Oh, I can feel. Look. I it's about that. the only way you you have I feelings. I do have feelings, okay? But my feelings <laughs> are contained in a little bitty box. Little bitty box. And it, I don't have, I only have enough mm -hmm. for a few close people around me. Okay. You gobble up the majority of those. Aw. So gobble, everybody gobble. else gets what's left, and that is the kids, mm -hmm. the grandkids. Mm-hmm. And a few close friends who may or may not have Parkinson's. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> what? I'm just telling you the way the wow. hand was shaking. It looks sexy in a motherfucker. I, uh, I for mean, someone as sick as you, I can see you <laughs> thinking that. You just, know, just let the Parkinson's do the work. Just, just it's fine, Karen. It's fine. Let the Parkinson's <laughs> do the work. It's fine. <laughs> I'm not religious, but now I think we're going to hell. Thanks. Uh, yes. Yes, we are. No, you are. Uh, what? Don't I don't know. Know. What the fuck? I mean, I, I'll probably be running the place. It's fine. I've said that for years. I'm just saying. I'm going to be running the place. I'll let you in. I'll give you a nice tree house to babe, stay in. Babe, what? if I end up homeless. Homeless? On the streets in front of the gates of heaven, uh -huh. I'm great. Right, I'm just gonna hold my little heaven bag out and be like, "Can I get a dollar?" Does does the homeless kid in heaven come with a cardboard box and a sharpie? I don't. No, 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 no. It's funny. It, it's is funny it you is say it that though? because do they have kits for the homeless? And where do you pick Look, them up at? Because every homeless person I've ever seen can always find a cardboard box and a fucking marker. Always got a cardboard box or a cardboard sign and had a marker at one time. So, I mean, where the old guy are you at the corner uh, Friday yes. actually took the time to cut his into the shape of a heart and it said, God bless. And I almost thought, I'm like, dollar for effort right i mean at least put some time into it uh, i i guess i think that's we the lived. same guy i seen that he had his bordered with uh, it could have been marked with the sharpie or whatever you know i didn't read what it said yep still dry we're good keep going Ooh, Baby, I didn't, i'm gassy i didn't why i, I don't know I oh, okay said oh I was, I watermelon i said i wasn't religious i'm not a fucking doctor i don't know <laughs> Watermelon. You could be gassy because of the oh, watermelon. Yeah, you feed me watermelon. Yeah, and I'm gonna eat some in a minute. We lived in this trailer right here uh -huh. for about what four and a half years now, uh -huh. and the homeless part people have not rotated. No, it's the same people. Same people. Same people. And it's like, can you not figure out? Something? I don't. I don't get oh! it. Oh, 
speaking of homeless, right? So you know the homeless person that has been sleeping in the van by yeah, the store? Yeah, what's up? What's up with that? It's gone. It was, no. It was there when I went to work this morning. But it was gone this afternoon when I come Man. home. So A, I don't know if they moved. B, I don't know if they bettered their situation. A. C, I don't know if somebody got pissed off and made them move. I, I, they could have went around back. I don't know. I just know it wasn't in the parking lot when I came home from work today. You know what? Balls. It takes balls to live in a van in a hundred and fucking seven degree heat. Maybe they said, hey, Ooh. can't do this heat. Have to... Go get hotel room or something. Cheapest hotel room they can find. I don't know. Because I feel that the person living in this van that I have seen working one of the establishments Have you actually there, seen them work? No, but I want to say last time I was in there, that person was in there working. Can't blame somebody for trying. Hey, you know what? If you got nowhere to live, you have to live in your van right by your work so you can get to work. Fucking do it. Good for you. At least well, you got I a would job. Do, what I would do mm -hmm. is I'd go to Planet Fitness, not sponsored. I spend 10 bucks on a monthly membership. That's where I'm going to do my showering, mm -hmm. hang out in the fucking AC, sleep in my van. There's ways. There's ways to live cheap. There, there is. But I, I, if you have no money at all, you can't get into Planet Fitness. Not if that sponsored. person living in that van was working at that store, yes, they made at least ten dollars. I mean, it is possible. I don't know for sure if they were, but I want to say that I do almost remember seeing them working in the store. But good for them. I have nothing against, and I want to help. People who truly want help. Yes. What I can't stand is you're still standing at that fucking corner four years later wearing better shoes than I have. Yes. You, yeah, you got right? your nails done. Right. Your hair's right. done all the time. Yeah, I can't. Can't do it. No, no. You're and maybe trying, I'm a shitty person. You're trying to play homeless. Like one, uh, the other day I came up through there and... Uh, one of the young guys was there, and he only had on one shoe. Concrete was hot. I know what? it was. But he he had like a little slip-on on or something. And I'm like... Maybe he hurt his toe. Well, I think he had on a couple of pairs of socks. And so his feet were not getting too burnt up or whatever. But I, I don't know. Fuck, it's hot out there. Oh. I would, do, do they make enough money? How much money know. do they make? I don't know. I mean, they don't get a fucking dime from me because after four years, I, yeah, I'm not giving anymore. I'm not giving. I used is, to give, and I don't now. The fucked up thing is, is right up and down that street, those stores are hiring left and right. Oh yeah, yeah. I just whistled. Yeah, did I? You did somehow. I don't the, know how. The fuck was I? Me mean, either. Yeah. Did you, did your teeth fall out or? <laughs> They're still attached, thank God, okay? Okay, okay. Yeah, there's plenty, plenty of, of places jobs. to work within walking is it distance. A, is it a dick move to go get applications and hand them out? Is that a dick move? <laughs> well, you know they got a marker they can fill it out with. Right? But and they can write. Yes, but the thing is, I feel... Most places do not take paper applications like they used to. Now everything, go online and fill out an application. Even Walmart has a place where you can go in and sit down and fill it out online. Do they? The public library is public and they don't charge you to go. You go in, you get on a computer, you fill out an application. Yeah. There yeah. is a way. And yeah, that's all but I'm how saying. are you going to know if they email you back? I guess you have to go every couple of days to the library to... To see if they instead of know. setting up on the corner over here by the house, set up on the corner by the library, right? Yeah, yeah. Go in there every day, mm -hmm. get some air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I was, I was gobbling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. By this the podcast library. Brought that's... to you by no sense of fucking shame at all. <laughs> Yeah, and that's a that's a great idea. And if I ever become homeless, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have a nice fucking truck, but <laughs> I'll be living in a nice truck, but I'm not gonna have shit else. Well, I hear you. And I'm not gonna be able to drive very far in that thing because it likes ass. Yes, it does. Yes. I like ass. I yeah. Okay. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, <you laughs> cut me off. <laughs>
cutting oh, you off you, I've been forever off. ago. I know. I Please. Got, gotcha. Like 20 years ago, I cut you off, Where you honey. been? I know. <laughs> Ooh, wait. You something well, else. This prod. <laughs> prod? Prod? Anal prod? Anal prod. This podcast brought to you by Roadcat Media. You have any podcast ideas, video editing, audio editing you would like, contact Roadcat Media at roadcatmedia at gmail.com. Nice. Hey, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns for me and Mrs. Always Right, email us at me and Mrs. Always Right at gmail.com. All complaints go to Trevor the intern. Yes, you can also find us on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And help support this podcast because I got more beer to buy. Become a member at Patreon at patreon.com slash me and Mrs. Always Right where you get pre and post show content right along with unedited episodes. Which y'all might laugh about this time because. Oh my God. It's you're... trash. Eh, babe, it's all trash. <laughs> it's always it's trash. All trash. It's all trash. All right. Well, I know <laughs> what's about to happen is I got to go in there and work. Oh, that means I'm going to go going to bed. To bed. <laughs> yep. Must be nice. Dude, when I get up Dude. way hours before you do. Hour. Hours. I went to bed later than you did. Tomato, tomato. Okay, okay so normally you go to bed two hours later than I do because I go to bed about six. So that means you go 10. to bed eight. I go to bed at 10. No, I go to bed at eight. You go to bed at 10. I get up at four. You get up at six. Two hours. Well, you can count. It is. It equals out either way you look at it. Does it, though? Yes, not, it does. Not last night. I didn't go to bed till 10, and I got up at 4. This morning. This morning. Yes. Yes. Well, I'm getting up at 3, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. All right. Well, I love you, too. All right. You have a good night. <laughs> All right. I, I do love you. I know you do. Okay. Sometimes. Yeah. All right. On occasion. Talk to you later. All right. Bye. 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 Marl. <laughs>